Sometimes when you open up GarageBand, all you want to do is use your software uh, guitar amplifier. Um, you don't want to use anything from GarageBand itself, any of their, you know, their noise gates or their compressors or their reverbs or what have you. You just want to use um, a specific piece of software. So for me, it's the Katana Tone Studio. So I'll show you what I mean. When I come in and uh, just do an empty project for the first time, I uh, choose to connect a guitar or bass. Now, what, I, what I'm talking about is down here, all these plugins. So you have to come in and turn off the noise gate, the pedal board, the amp designer, the channel EQ, etc. every time, and uh, it, it's a little bit painful. So I'll show you a better way to do it. Set up this plugin area the way you want. So for me, I'd be removing all of these. So, you know, no plugin, no plugin, no plugin, etc. So once you've got it in a settings that you like, come down and hit save. And that will save it as a user preset. So I have one already here called, called Katana. So if I cancel that out of there, delete that track and come in and do it again, now all I need to do is come in and choose uh, electric guitar and bass down the lower left, go to user patches and hit Katana. And what that's done is that's opened up now a track ready to go. It's on the, you know, the, the guitar uh, track. I'm gonna of course rename it to uh, you know, Rhythm One or whatever you wanna do. Um, but all these plugins are empty down here. So it just saves you having to do all of that and you're ready to go with a nice clean signal coming out of Tone Studio. Hope that helps.